The Alps are the highest and most extensive mountain range in Europe. It stretches about 750 miles across eight countries. France, Switzerland, Monaco, Italy, Liechtenstein, Austria, Germany, and Slovenia. It hosts about 200 habitats throughout with over 4,500 species of plants, 200 birds, 21 amphibians, 15 reptiles, and 80 mammals. Mount Blanc is the highest peak at almost 16,000 feet, and there are about 100 peaks higher than 13,000 feet in the Alps. My family once hiked down this mountain range during a trip to Germany, Switzerland, Austria, France, Belgium, and Luxembourg. We first started at the 1936 German Olympic Games ski ramp, where we rode in a brightly colored gondola up the mountain. Everything was green with a bright blue sky and the air was filled with the smell of fresh snowmelt as it trickled down mossy stones and left a spongy path in its wake. As we trekked down, we would occasionally meet up with different groups of people coming up. Just as often as seeing people, we would cross over tiny Alpine villages. I would first hear the dinks of cow or goat bells and a chorus of moos or baas. Then the forest would give way to pasture land and pocket-sized traditional cottages. I felt like I traveled back to the 18th century when there was not a care in the world and the people would just go about their farming. But soon, back to the forest we would go trying to look for any small animals. We did not find any, although soon we heard a strong rush of water and came across the main river flowing down the mountain with a couple of bridges connecting the trails together. I even noticed as we went down next to the river that the water had eroded a concrete path knocking down two metal barriers. It was an unusual sight for me, as it was strange seeing human-made things after being in the trees for so long. Eventually, we had seen all we could in the little area, and we were off again down the mountain. It seemed too soon that our journey ended and we were back into human civilization. I felt sad being transported back into modern day, as all I wanted to do was stay in my fantasy world of the past. However, no matter how much I wanted to stay, our trip was far from over, and we would now be on our way to one of the most famous castles in the world, New Schwanstein. This was probably the most magical experience I've ever had, and if anyone considers taking a trip to any of these countries, they must go check out the Alps, especially to hike down, up, or even take an alpine slide.